is not the copyright holder but the trademark holder. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Hi, welcome. Welcome in this series of videos. Like you know, in this series of videos, I will answer some question about copyright in the US. Let's look at the question for today's video. The question is, can I copyright my domain name? This is a question when you look at it, you need to think about, is copyright the right way? I don't think so. I'm not going to discuss the copyright part. I'm going to show you that you need to go to the trademark part. So let's talk about this. So as you can see, this is a drawing board. When you have a domain name, it's better to use it to register it as a trademark. Reason why I'm saying that is because sometimes copyright is hard to prove and sometimes most of the time on name you don't have copyright on it. And it's a difficult decision what is copyright protected and what not, but just keep in mind domain name most time is not copyright protected. So the best thing which you can do is just register as a trademark. As soon as you register it as a trademark, the domain name, you are starting to create your brand and protect your brand. So when you have a domain name, let's say you have a domain name and you are active in certain kind of country, let's say in the US or other country, it doesn't matter. Try to look at the trademark rules in those countries. Let's say I have a domain name and I'm active in the US. And the thing is, I need to look at the trademark and is there similar trademark register for my domain name or not? I made a video about this. You can look at all those videos, how it works. Just look at it and you see how it works. The thing is, when you have a domain name and you're using it for certain kind of services of product, you can register as a trademark. As soon as you register as a trademark and someone is starting using your name without your permission for this products or services, you can go after them. How does it work? technically a little bit as copyright so it's similar to copyright but it's different when you talk about trademark you need to follow the registration process if you follow the registration process and everything is positive you have a trademark and how does it work you have a b and c you always have that when you talk about intellectual property in this case the trademark is the right itself and B is not the copyright holder, but the trademark holder. Most time you can find out where the trademark holder is in the registration system. And if someone wants to use the trademark, they need to ask permission. And most time you can just contact the company or the agent and they can give you permission or not. Or you can buy a license. Doesn't matter. But if you keeping this in mind is when you register a trademark as a domain name, you have a trademark on it. If someone uses it without your permission, you can go after them. So, if you look at the US, US has a uh, trademark process, you can follow the trademark process and file your domain name. But copyright, it doesn't work because most of the time it's too small, the domain name. So let's recap. I explained to you that you don't need to go the copyright way in order to protect your domain name. Just go the trademark way. If you have question about this, just go on Discord and ask me directly. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can support it by pressing the link in the description. I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great.